If you're looking to buy a budget laptop for under $400, well look no further because this laptop will blow your mind. This is the AX15 from Ace Magic. This laptop is priced at $359 and I have seen it priced as low as $339, which is completely insane. And guys, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I've got three things I love about this laptop and three things I would change about it. And as a bonus, we're also gonna test the N95 chip to see what it can do. So stick around. Thanks. So what do you get for $359 or $339? Well, first of all, you get a sleek looking 15.6 inch laptop powered with the Intel Alder Lake M95 processor. The Intel 12th gen M95 processor includes four cores, four threads, six megabytes of cache, and max turbo frequency of 3.4 gigahertz. And it also includes onboard graphics. And the Intel onboard graphics can support up to three displays with a max screen resolution of 4096 by 2160 at 60 hertz. This laptop also includes 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 512 gig SSD, it's Wi-Fi 5 compatible, as well as Bluetooth 5.0, and it comes installed with Windows 11 Pro. This 15.6 inch screen is 19 1920 by 1080 resolution. It even includes a 720 HD camera for Skype or Zoom meetings with friends, family, or colleagues. And this laptop even has a 180 degrees lay flat design. But the coup de gras is the battery life. You get up to five hours of video playback on a single charge of the 38 watt lithium ion battery. And that's freaking good for a budget laptop. As far as cooling goes, the AX15 includes a smart silent fan and copper tubing to keep this laptop nice and cool. And this laptop even includes an oversized touchpad, which is great for productivity and comfort. The AX15 has eight connections, one TF connection, one USB 2.0, two USB 3.0s, one here, and one over here, one mic in, and one HDMI and two Type-C connections. And the AX15 weighs less than four pounds, which makes this laptop truly portable for on the go. So what do you get when you buy the AX15? Well, first you get the laptop, the manual, and the charger, and that's it. So the first thing you're gonna notice about this laptop is the startup time. It's less than 15 seconds, which is pretty impressive for a budget laptop. So now it's time to test this laptop and see what it can do. And in the end, I'll tell you what I love about this laptop and a few things I would change about it. So first things first, let's take a look at the keyboard. I like the layout. All the keys are very easy to push. Now this is not a silent keyboard, it's a bit clicky. So if somebody's sleeping next to you in your bed while you're on this laptop, well, you might keep them awake. But remember, this is a budget laptop. So now we'll test out this laptop playing a game. We're gonna play Rocket League. Even though this laptop is not for gaming, we're gonna try a game anyways. As you can see, it plays pretty well. It's not super smooth. But once again, this is a budget laptop. The N95 chip is not made for gaming. So keep this in mind if you buy this laptop but it does handle Rocket League okay. All right, the third thing I'm gonna do is test the CPU. We'll use an app called Cinebench. And Cinebench gave this CPU a score of 12. And you shouldn't expect big numbers anyways. The N95 only has four cores and four threads. However, this CPU is solid for video streaming, conference videos, productivity tasks, and web surfing. Once again, this is not a gaming laptop or even a 4K editing laptop, but it can play Rocket League and that's a bonus. All right, let's talk about the speakers on this laptop. To be quite honest, they are pretty thin sounding with very little bass. And one more downside, they're not very loud. I turn the speakers up all the way and it's not super loud. But once again, this is a budget laptop and you can't expect high end speakers. I would recommend using headphones or Bluetooth earbuds. Either one will work way better than these speakers. And the last thing we checked was the heat from this laptop. Underneath the laptop was slightly warm, but not hot. So the smart fan and the copper tubing do work. All right guys, here's a few things I love about this laptop and a few things that would change about it. First overall is the price. At $359, a laptop of this quality is outstanding. And there are a plethora of features on this laptop that make this laptop a real value. The second thing I love about this laptop is all the connections. With one HDMI, several USB connections, two Type-C connections, you have plenty of options to connect external devices, like more monitors and even external hard drives. And the third thing I love about this laptop is the screen. It handled 4K video just fine. And heck, it even handled Rocket League, wow. So I consider the AX15 an outstanding laptop for its price. But here are a few things I would change about this laptop. First is the SSD. 
It's only 512 gigs. One terabyte should be a minimum. In this day and age, one terabyte should be the standard. And second, the oversized touchpad has no buttons. It would be nice to have two buttons to make things easier. And third, I would have preferred to see a Wi-Fi 6 NIC card. Wi-Fi 5 is pretty old, but Wi-Fi 6 is pretty much the standard now, which means faster download and upload times. But all in all guys, this laptop for $359 is a bargain. Heck, it's a steal. And I'll have all the links in the description below to where you can buy this laptop. Oh and guys, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.